So I've reviewed this guy over four to five times now, I think, somewhere around there. But this is the most play I have reviewed in one year ever. So I've reviewed his non-inform, his inform, his second inform, his second inform upgraded, and now we have his third inform. And maybe we might even have a fourth inform. Who knows? And then the team of the season. What the fuck is going on? But this guy definitely deserves it. Yeah, he's having one of the best seasons in his life. Let us get down to business. If you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get your coin, check out battlelay.com. The link will be in the description. Use the code Itani to get 5% off. Now, what we're going to be trying to do is compare the third inform and the second inform inform that has been upgraded to begin with i loved his second inform that got upgraded he was an amazing player so how is it gonna, how are we going to compare him and is he worth the price difference that's what we're going to be talking about now good pace to begin with amazing dribbler this guy he has instant control over the top through balls this guy will control it instantly and i know some of you might be thinking oh his pace ain't that great but now he has really good pace they shouldn't be i don't know there shouldn't be any excuse to not use him because if you you're a pace abuser this guy has enough speed to get you goals and you know just um just basically accelerate away from defenders now he is um, an amazing finish in the penalty area he has 98 finishing in the penalty area i think he is trolling why didn't they just make it 99 maybe they're leaving it for the fourth inform who knows but he has 98 finishing and 98 attributes for a lot of other, a lot of his other stats. So I'm not too sure why, but like I said, maybe EA is saving it for the fourth inform. He has four star weak, four star skills, amazing strength and aggression. Now this guy he has 90 aggression or something like that. This guy should be having 99. Let me know if you agree in the comment section below. This guy is very aggressive in real life. Um, he has very good heading. Surprisingly, compared to the second inform, this guy's heading seems way way better. Even though the stats. Don't don't show it but he just feels a lot better he's called me many more headers so you're going to be expecting that from uh third inform suarez more headers if you enjoy crossing it he has amazing finesse shots from outside the penalty area and inside good passing but he, it seems higher when you're passing it to your strikers or when you're trying to assist them he is really really good at passing i think he has like 82 passing on his card stats but it feels a lot better in game he can be played in various positions amazing shooting and he is definitely a complete forward so should you buy him over the second inform i'm gonna have to say yes because he felt a lot better i'm not too sure what ea has done but normally when you have a second inform and a third inform you won't see much difference but with Suarez, I felt there was a big difference between the second inform and the third inform. In my opinion, he just played a lot better. He's going to assist your strikers. He's going to score you goals. He's going to take your free kicks. He can take your corners. He can do everything. He can be your playmaker. He can be your goal scorer. It is whatever you choose him to be. He is going to be just that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. Like Suarez is one of my favorite players. The third inform is... That I have tried out in this ultimate team so I definitely recommend you purchase him if you have the coinage so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a very nice day